Hello guys, hi everyone, welcome to the forexboat.com. I hope you're having a great Friday. And today we, as promised, will have another idea, a GBP related idea, which will be on the Euro Great British Pound currency pair. Before we get started, all the information in this video is always for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. Now, uh, before we start, as usual, we will just dive into the other ideas we had previously, starting with New Zealand Canadian dollar, uh, expecting uptrend towards this level. Although stop loss should be placed at break even, at least we were mentioning that before our entry was somewhere around this price, as I call. Uh, so, yeah, stop loss definitely at the break even. You can still hold them um, uh, and see. Uh, what will be happening, but our target is still 86.52. New Zealand Japanese yen, uh, expecting, we were expecting this kind of scenario. This was our entry. So for now, what it seems uh, is that pair broke above. We were looking at the daily break and close above. So it's the price on the daily chart broke above this. So it's either a hard stop loss above this price or closing it at the break-even point at this level. Uh, although I still think the Japanese yen will be very strong, but at the same time, it looks like New Zealand dollar could be also strong, which means there might be a range trading or even uh, another pullback. So overall here is the best, I think, would be at least put the stop loss at the break-even and see what happens. Um, it's not that far away, but yeah. It, the daily close was above, so here would be hard stop loss if uh, you decide to hold it. Now on the Canadian Japanese yen, it looks much better. So we, we could expect a massive, massive downtrend here. Well, along with the New Zealand Japanese yen actually. So uh, we can see this resistance. It was holding our original idea was right there. And we were uh, thinking about exiting if the daily close will be above this price. You can see now even four hour candles failed to close above. We rejected the simple moving average here and price started to move down. So the first target would be 75.55 area and we'll need to see what happens. If price breaks below, this will be a very, very bearish signal for the Canadian Japanese yen and we might be going much lower it could be even 1000 pips so this could be the case but for now the nearest target would be at this price and see what happens if rejected at least stop loss at break even or fix some profit uh, the next one is pound uh, pound dollar we were talking we're looking at the, uh, the four hour time frame here and looking at this candle to close above this red line to confirm that it's bullish and as has been mentioned, if that will be the case, pound will become extremely bullish. And that's what happened. The entry would have been at uh, 124.32. We almost immediately saw some growth and our first target has been reached. It was uh, 26.22 area. Here, some profit fixing could be a good idea, although at least stop loss at break even. Steel pound looks very bullish, but I I I cannot you know ignore the, the scenario where price pulled back uh, pulled back to to the moving average. So here, uh, stop loss at break even. You could hold or fix some profit. Also, good idea. And finally, moving on to the euro GBP which is also long-term uh, price action that is expected for the pound and its uh, pound strength, uh, which, is, uh, which means that euro pound is expected to go down heavily. Basically, that could be over 300 pips for the euro GBP, which is very huge considering this pair volatility. For G euro GBP, it's, it's like crazy, crazy move. Uh, so here we go. What we have is the break below two moving averages, simple and exponential. You can see here was a close below on the daily chart. And I have applied Fibonacci retracement level to this corrective wave after the breakout. And I also applied Fibonacci here. 
to this overall uptrend. What we see is the downside target at 84.12, uh, which corresponds to two Fibonacci 88.6 and 361.8. This is the key support area. Besides, we have 61.8 FIBs right there and prices right at this resistance level. Also worth mentioning, we broke a uh, second moving average, pulled back, then broke down again below the moving average. And now we see that we're rejecting the simple moving average and price spike higher, but failed to close above on the daily chart. So here this could be used as the stop loss if the price on the daily chart will move above this level 87.55, but still it really, really in the supply zone uh, at this price. Now let's move on to the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we see much closer this 61.8 FIPS and price is right at this level. We had a clean bounce here and now price went down, produced lower, lower, corrected up and basically failed to close above even on four hour chart. Also, we have here a rejection of the exponential moving average. And then we clearly see massive resistance forming here, rejected once, twice, three times, and we're still producing lower lows and lower highs. This is uh, just confirms the validity of the downtrend. So this is area could be a good entry point for the euro GBP, although we can expect some further pullback towards the exponential moving average. I think that's the worst case scenario. Uh, but yeah, still still looks to me quite bearish. Now on the euro GBP one hour chart, let's zoom it in slightly. I have applied another FIPS. Uh, to this overall downtrend. We see that price is currently at 38.2 FIPS, which also corresponds to the 61.8 from the daily chart. This is the resistance uh, quite, quite strong here. Also, uh, we had the rejection of the moving average at this level, and this area still remains a resistance. We had the rejection of the moving average here and here. And still this level holds since we produced a spike but failed to close above. This to me looks like a very, very interesting uh, selling opportunity for the long run. Uh, but consider it's Friday. Uh, you could potentially wait till Monday opening, see if there is no strong gap, price gap, I mean to the upside and then decide whether to go short or not. So here price can't consolidate. It, it's not going to be something fast because it's a huge move. So perhaps waiting until Monday opening and see where the price will be at that stage uh, could be the best idea because we still can produce the spike above this price, above this high here. It's, it can easily be achieved uh, on, uh, on one and four hour timeframes. Although this already is a strong selling zone for the Euro GBP. And you can see on the, uh, on the one hour chart, how long we have to go here. So it's a, it's a, it's kind of two weeks, probably three weeks, uh, move for this pair. We can, uh, still wait and see what happens because it will be consolidating, can go slightly up or down. But uh, nevertheless, I would expect the trend to start from Monday, maybe even from this point onwards. Now, in regards to stop loss, I would be closely watching this daily closing price, 87.55, whether it manages to close above. So you can wait till Monday and see uh, today's closing price, what's happening, whether it's going to close above or not. If not, there can be still spikes above, but we just need to see the closing price. And this will be important. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. This is the idea for the Euro GBP. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week, maybe we'll have another GBP idea since it looks like a long-term tendency for GBP in the coming weeks. So um, yeah, smash your likes button if you like to see more on the GBP and don't forget to subscribe not to miss the next video. Thanks, guys, and have a great weekend. Stay healthy and profits to everyone.